Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nav. I have some great news to share with you guys. I have found two amazing sunscreens that I discovered over the summer. I'll be doing like a side-by-side -side comparison in terms of what these sunscreens feel and look like so you guys can get a little gist of it. By the way, if you haven't checked out my sun bum review video, you can check it out in the link here. You can see kind of like the look and feel of this sunscreen. All right, so let's dive right in. I do want to mention that I have combination slash oily skin. I mean, it does get pretty oily throughout the day. So I wanted something that, you know, wouldn't cause me to break out further. So the first brand I'm going to be talking about is called Skin Aqua. Aqua? I'm going to just say Aqua for the sake of this video. I don't know if you follow Dr. Dre. She's a board certified dermatologist on YouTube and also other YouTubers like Tina Tanaka. There's Abby Young. They all mentioned this brand. So I was like pretty sold on it. I was like, why not? Let's just give it a go. Let's try it out. Now, I purposely wanted to try like foreign brands. They're lighter in formulation. They feel they don't feel like sunscreens. That's what I've been told. And now that I've experienced it, I'm like, okay, I know what they're talking about. They're less irritating. They have in some cases stronger, better sunscreen filters than a lot of American um, major brands. So that's why a lot of people prefer using kind of the foreign brands over the American brands. All right, let's get to the science behind Skin Aqua. It has an SPF of 50 and a PA for pluses. I recently just learned about the pluses. Um, apparently they're supposed to be like different levels of protection factors. Two pluses means moderate protection from the sun's UVA and UVB rays. Three pluses means high protection and four pluses means excellent extreme protection. You get the point. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen and the combination of ingredients that do all the work are zinc oxide. Now excuse moi as I butcher all these uh, ingredients. Octinozate, hexyl benzoate, and diethylamino hydroxybenzyl. If you're a pharmacist or a chemist, I'm, I'm just a messenger. Don't come after me. Please forgive me. This is a waterproof sunscreen. It is water and sweat resistant. This is considered to be a chemical and a physical sunscreen. Let's talk about the feels and the look of it. Now it's a really watery formulation, hence the name Aqua. And when you put it on your skin, it just tends to evaporate within a few minutes. It's extremely lightweight. It doesn't even feel like sunscreen, which is the best part about this sunscreen. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It's excellent for people who have oily combination skin. Although if you do have dry sensitive skin, you might not like this one too much unless you heavily moisturize your skin first. And the good news is that it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin. All right, let's talk about the price. It's a fairly inexpensive sunscreen on the surface. It retails at about $12 on Amazon USA. If you're using this on a daily basis with reapplication, you're likely gonna run out of it pretty quick. Cause if you think about it, like this is my hand, okay? And this is the size of it. It feels like a little travel size bottle. Like look at it, it's like pretty small. From my experience, if I apply this twice daily, I tend to run out of it like within two weeks. So I'm spending somewhere around like $25 per month just using this twice daily. So you can just kind of do the math, you know what I'm saying? Now I do use this for the face and neck and then for my, my legs and my arms and body, I will use the bigger bottle version of Sun Balm. It's like this big, it's like very cost effective. And yeah, you know, if you're going out in the sun, just make sure all parts of your skin is covered, right? Not just your face and neck. Because I feel like the face and neck, the emphasis of that comes from, oh my God, I don't want to age. And you know, that's like kind of the major part. But listen, if you're trying to avoid skin cancer, then you have to cover all parts of your, of the skin that is exposed to the sun. So it's a very important thing. I want to keep that in mind. What are my final thoughts on this? I personally love this sunscreen. And I'm not just saying that. By the way, this isn't a sponsored video. I would have told you so if it was. It feels so great on my skin. Like it feels so light and airy and watery it does get a little dry i'm not gonna lie especially when i'm reapplying it on my face it gets a little drying but i don't notice as a notice it as much because i have really oily shiny skin but i know that if somebody who has dry skin and they put it on their face uh, they're probably gonna have different experience so keep that in mind i also love the fact that it has a four pluses it's like yes you are highly protected from the uva uvb rays it has spf of 50 that's what i was looking for that's like the minimum that i use on a daily basis it has a very matte finish which is amazing especially if you're wearing makeup and stuff and it's waterproof it's sweat resistant it's like pretty much it has everything that you want in a sunscreen it's in this little tiny travel size bottle now it hasn't irritated my skin or has caused any breakouts like 
knock on wood it's it's done pretty well for my skin so i will highly recommend this all right so let's move on to the next big contender and that is elta md uv clear broad spectrum spf 46. now i've heard a lot about this brand from the same people that kind of convinced me to try skin aqua are the same people that you know also raved about this now this brand has a range of sunscreens that are designed for different purposes the two that i was really interested in were obviously this one and the other one is a tinted version of this all right let's dive into the science this is an oil-free broad spectrum sunscreen and it is designed for oily and acne prone skin it contains ingredients like high purity niacinamide hyaluronic acid and lactic acid that are designed to calm and protect the skin the main sunscreen filter in this is zinc oxide and octinozate that protect against uva and uvb rays it is however not water resistant or sweat resistant they do have a water resistant formulation it comes in the form of elta md uv elements it's a completely different sunscreen i love the feel of this on my skin it's a lot thicker than this brand like this one is very watery but this one when you pump it out it feels like it's thick it has a very lightweight mousse consistency it glides on so smoothly it does have a dewy finish as you rub it on the skin you can really feel it almost moisturizing your skin it's probably the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid doing its thing it doesn't feel like a sunscreen and that's again that's what's the best part about it it has a light smell but barely noticeable compared to other sunscreens after a few minutes of putting it on your skin kind of readjusts to its like normal skin tone so again there's no white cast with this one it also feels amazing under makeup i always feel like my skin feels so dewy and hydrated and plump it hasn't broken me out so it's it's doing what it says right the only downside is that it's not water resistant or sweat proof i don't know if i can like you know rely on this on like those hot summer days where i have to reapply even when you don't want to sweat like i feel like you end up sweating especially if you're outside in the sun for more than 10 minutes you're gonna sweat and so i don't know how much i can rely on this on uh, during those scorching heat summer months all right let's talk about the price as much as I love the sunscreen, I don't really like the price point as much. It is, in my opinion, it's pretty expensive. I paid like $40 for this. For this little travel size bottle, I feel like they're the same size, except this one's $12. And this one is $40. That's right. Amazon has this for $39 for 45 grams. If you're using this on a daily basis, it can get quite expensive. If you do use this like multiple times a day, like especially if you're reapplying, you could finish this bottle within two weeks. So let's just say if I were to get two bottles per month, right? Like I'm spending $80 per month on this thing compared to this one that is $25 per month, which is why. <laughs> I don't use this on a daily basis. I only use this like when I'm going out. Um, it's like my kind of like going out elegant sunscreen. It's a luxury brand for me. I don't know about it for other people, but it's it's a luxury for me. And so I kind of made a compromise between the two. I was like, listen, I'll keep both of you and you guys will be used at different times. That is my compromise. Now, if I compare these two to Sunbum, I obviously I'm gonna pick these guys because they were a lot less like oily. They were very light in formulation compared to my Sunbum. Now, I still love the Sunbum brand, but over the summer, I started experiencing some irritation around my eyes. During the summer, I think it has to do with probably the scorching heat outside. The sweat would like pretty much, I think, carry the sunscreen into my eyeballs and my eyes, I would be like blind for the rest of the day because my eyes would burn, they would irritate. I couldn't even open them. Like everything was, my eyes became so sensitive all of a sudden to the point where I thought like I had to go see an eye doctor because I thought, oh my God, I feel like there's something wrong with my eyes. I have to go get it checked out. But it wasn't that I had an eye problem. It was the sunscreen. The days that I didn't have the sunscreen on, my eyes would be perfectly fine. So I knew it was the sunscreen. I went online and I started reading reviews because I'm like, I can't be the only one facing this like eye irritation. And I read other people's reviews and they all brought up literally the same thing and that was their eyes were getting irritated because of this sunscreen for me it was like the reapplication that was irritating but for some people it was like even the first time they would put it on it would start irritating their eyes so that is what led me on my quest to find newer sunscreens i still do use sun bum here and there but i think on my on a daily basis i've switched to skin aqua because of the whole eye irritation issue that i mentioned earlier and then again this is like my going out sunscreen some of the other brands that i've really wanted to try are like beauty of Joseon. Um, that's a Korean sunscreen brand. Is it Joseon or Joseon? I've heard people say both. It's a Korean brand. There's also, I 
think in the mermaid gel something like that those brands have gotten like really great reviews too people really swear by those brands for now i'm gonna stick to these i do hope to try those other brands someday but uh, whenever i do i will make another review video anyway i hope you guys found this review useful i hope you guys found this video useful if you did please hit that like button and if you want to see more skincare videos do subscribe to my channel i love talking about skincare i love talking about products that i'm using and if you have any questions or if you have other suggestions for sunscreens do leave it in the comment section below i will see you guys again i'm not gonna say very shortly this time because i don't know when i'm gonna see you guys so you know until until next time bye